الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد وعلى آلی وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد حبت فی اللہ مرسی The mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal is that which we all need. We need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy. We need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guidance. We need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to strengthen us in Iman and all those attributes that He loves subhanahu. And the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cannot be Uh, counted meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ar-Rahman ar-Rahim the most beneficent the most merciful and although we possess the attributes of mercy our mercy is unlike Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and unlike his mercy subhanahu But mercy is a characteristic beloved to us because we want Allah's mercy and forgiveness. And we want to exhibit the characteristic of being merciful to His creation and to one another. And in the hadith of Anjirir ibn Abdullah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من لا يرحم من لا يرحم الناس لا يرحمه الله متفق عليه The hadith of Jarir ibn Abdullah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he said that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم and this is collected in Bukhari and Muslim the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said Whoever is not merciful will not receive, uh, who is not merciful to the people, Allah will not be merciful to him. And this is in Bukhari and Muslim. In this hadith, Ahabit Tifillah, it illustrates for us the importance of mercy, this sifat. this characteristic which we need to possess. We need to be merciful towards one or another. We need to be merciful towards the creation, in fact. Because the Prophet Sallallahu was sent as a mercy for who? For mankind. And in this hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu mentioned being merciful to people. The one who is not merciful to people will not have the mercy of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala. And what do we, what's the mafhum of this hadith? What is the understanding, the, the mafhum mukhalifa, the understanding which is derived from this hadith? What is derived from this hadith, Ahabit is that the one who is merciful, the one who is merciful for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, merciful to the people, will receive the mercy of Allah. That's the opposite, that, that's what can be deduced from this hadith. So it shows us the importance of that characteristic of being merciful towards one another. Merciful towards the creation. Kind, gentle, rahmah. Not being harsh. Not attacking the people's characteristics. and being good with one another. And as we mentioned that this is a characteristic of Allah Azza wa Jal, mercy. And that only a portion of this mercy is contained in the creation. But it's there, the way the mother is merciful to her children. 
the way the, as I've just seen, uh, looks like there's bear around here somewhere, because I see the, uh, the roth or whatever you call it, the scat or whatever it's called of the bear. But we hope we don't encounter the bear, and more importantly, we don't want a merciful bear with, that's merciful with its, its child. Because if you run into a bear or any wild animal that has its, its uh, offspring with it, then you see that the merciful, mercifulness towards a child can become a danger for you as you are looked at as a predator or a threat to that child. So that's contained within the creation, uh, you know, with the, the creatures that are created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Likewise, the mother of human beings, she contains that same rahma. And an example we also see amongst people is that you find sometimes people as gro grown men or people who grow up, men, women, what have you, even if they involve themselves in criminal activity and they become a danger and a threat to society, they are perhaps captured, they're ha perhaps killed, whatever the case may be. But often you find that still even the mother of that individual still has a degree of mercy because that was their child. So they still, the way they speak about them and the way the media and others portray their child, that what the once was their child or what have you, as a monster. Perhaps this person has become a monster, an evil being, has done evil. But that mother, she still has that mercy. So this is a characteristic, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves mercy, not that a person is merciful towards, uh, you know, and assisting people who are oppressors, no. But understand, the point being here is that this mercy that's innate in the mother and innate in us in, as beings, and more importantly, we should exhibit that characteristic because it's beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is a characteristic that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala possesses, although His mercy is unlike ours. Laysa kamithlihi shay, wa huwa sami'ul basir, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.